think uh, I agree with everybody that the situation on North Korea uh, or on the, for the peninsula has become more dangerous. Uh, uh, crisis can occur uh, at least in four kinds of scenarios. One is a failed nuclear test. I mean, North Korea has stepped up with uh, nuclear tests and also missile tests. Uh, the failed nuclear tests can be disastrous. Okay. Uh, given the backward facilities they are using to test nuclear weapons, some people argue that this is just a matter of time. Okay. Another scenario uh, is uh, nuclear, uh, increased international sanctions on North Korea. Okay. Here we are, because of North Korea's uh, nuclear uh, uh, program uh, and tests and, uh, and also missile tests, uh, the international society has stepped up with sanctions uh, against North, uh, North Korea. Actually, some people are demanding China to cut up oil <laughs> uh, for North Korea. That could induce a, a, a crisis in North Korea, right? People are against a military uh, option uh, for fear that this would touch off a crisis in North Korea and also uh, some kind of a uh, irrational r response on the part of North Korea. But a UN sanctioned uh, a, a UN sanction induced crisis can also spark off uh, spark uh, up that kind of situation. Uh, the third uh, kind of scenario is a political uh, a struggle uh, within North Korea that may produce a crisis. Okay, given the sanctions and given the 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 possibility of war. Uh, I don't think the leadership in North Korea is that united in thinking. So, I mean, one cannot rule out the possibility that there is a, uh, that, you know, serious policy difference, and then something may happen. We don't know. Uh, we don't know uh, much about North, uh, the inside story of North Korea. But he did kill his brother, so uh, things could happen. Uh, the third, the, the fourth scenario in which a crisis can occur is a U, U.S. initiated preemptive strike. Okay. That, of course, would unleash a crisis situation, uh, definitely. Yeah. So now we, we are facing a situation in which a crisis can occur, and the chance for that to happen has dramatically increased uh, in, in recent years. Okay. Now, what can we do about it? I think the first thing we should do, we should do it immediately, is to hold dialogues on contingency plans. Okay. Every concerned party has a contingency plan uh, with regard to how to deal with the crisis. Okay. Uh, but the problem is, so far, uh, their plans have not been compared you know, shared and, and, and coordinated. Okay. And I think that's very dangerous. Okay. For example, China and the US, they should have contingency plans uh, about how to control the no North Korea's nuclear weapons if a crisis occurs, okay. right? Because you cannot leave it unmanaged uh, or in the hands of a North Korean officer uh, whose uh, uh, boss uh, <laughs> may be in trouble. <laughs> so that's very dangerous. Uh, so s somehow you need to take care of <laughs> the nuclear facilities uh, to make sure that uh, that officer will not push the button and or uh, the nuclear weapons may be uh, taken away by some other forces. Uh, but the problem is, without uh, you know, talking to each other beforehand, 
to make sure that the, the military, <laughs> the Chinese military and the American military don't bump into each other in the crisis. Uh, you need to talk to each other before, uh, you know, uh, before that happens. Uh, you know, uh, I, I think, uh, you know, neither the U.S. nor China probably would uh, would regard, you know, taking possession of North Korea as such is such an attractive thing to do. <laughs> I mean, you, ca you cannot learn anything from their nuclear technology, and of course. Uh, you have to pay uh, uh, a lot to uh, to take care. The cost is quite can be quite quite high. Uh, and and China and South Korea uh, should also uh, China and South Korea and the U.S. should hold dialogues about the crisis. You know, if crisis occurs, you know, what are we going to do about restoring the order in North Korea uh, as quickly as possible to reduce the damage. Uh, of a crisis uh, uh, of uh, unfolding military conflicts, okay. uh, who should do the job? Okay. Uh, and these are the things that we should talk about. And how about uh, refugee problems? Okay. Uh, you know, the North Korean refugees would not cross the 38th parallel because that's a very dangerous zone. You know, you have a lot of landmines, so they would go to China. Okay. So, but then. Um, if you have a large influx of refugees, I mean, it's better to think about ways to accommodate them and to make sure that they, to avoid a so-called humanitarian disaster. Okay. Uh, and, and then the five parties uh, should have their own dialogue about post-crisis arrangement for North Korea and all, also probably for the Korean Peninsula. Okay. Are we going to, how are we going to, uh, to, uh, uh, have a new government uh, uh, or, or for North Korea, okay? Uh, or should we have a new government uh, for North Korea? Uh, or should we have a UN, uh, I mean, uh, a United uh, uh, Korea? Uh, I mean, th this thing should be discussed uh, so that we know where we are going <laughs> when crisis occurs. Talk about contingency plan is necessary and, uh, uh, and we should do it as soon as possible. Okay. So far, I think there are talks about it at the one, uh, at track two and uh, track uh, one and a half, uh, but then uh, I think the, 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 the discussion, uh, the consultation should take place at a, at a much, much more substantive level between the concerned authorities. The second thing uh, I think we need to do okay, is to uh, get prepared for a military cri uh, conflict. Okay. I think, uh, you know, given the four scenarios we had, I just mentioned, okay, uh, a military conflict can happen. Uh, I mean, the chance for that to happen has dramatically increased. Of course, we all wish that it would not happen. Okay. Uh, we hope to have a peaceful solution, okay? but the problem is it can happen. Okay? So we need to devise uh, uh, various kinds of uh, measures to reduce the, po the, 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 the damage, uh, uh, to avoid the loss of uh, life as much as possible. Okay? So that probably would include uh, seriously considering uh, eva evacuation of civilians from ad areas adjacent to the uh, North Korea border, okay? uh, because those people there are most likely to be affected. Uh, this includes, uh, I mean, all countries probably concerned should take, should take uh, in, uh, this uh, uh, thing uh, very seriously. Yeah. The third thing probably we need to do is uh, to develop a uh, enhanced version of uh, carrot and stick approach. <laughs> uh, we should we should uh, maintain the current level of sanctions, and and and, and also the uh, if if North Korea uh, continues with the test uh, of nuclear weapons and especially uh, and missiles, uh, probably we should continue to uh, increase the sanctions. Uh, uh, and of course, holding uh, 
uh, dialogues on contingency plans can also be a form of pressure on North Korea. So we should make the stick uh, tough, stronger <laughs> uh, and, and bigger. Yeah. At the same time, uh, we should also uh, develop a more attractive package of incentives for North Korea to change course. Okay. Uh, that is, uh, now what I can think of is uh, a probably a normalization of relations between uh, North Korea and concerned uh, countries, especially the US. The US and North Korea do not have diplomatic relations. Probably it's time for uh, the US to uh, offer diplomatic relations if North Korea can give up nuclear weapons. Okay. The second thing is, uh, uh, you know, a promise uh, of uh, a, a promise not to undertake any actions to uh, <laughs> effect a sort of a regime change. Uh, uh, I mean, repeated promise. <laughs> I mean, the U.S. has, has suggested that already, uh, but then uh, you know, this this probably uh, uh, should be given. Uh, uh, in a more forceful way, and, and probably by the international community uh, as a whole, uh, if North Korea can give up nuclear weapons. Okay. The third thing is, uh, you know, probably we should uh, also give North Korea security guarantee. Uh, uh, in other words, uh, uh, we'll make sure that no country, you know, uh, uh, again, another commitment not to. Uh, allow any country to invade North Korea, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, if North Korea gives up <laughs> nuclear weapons, uh, if that's the security concern it's worried about. Uh, and finally, uh, probably we should come up with a, a, a big package, uh, I mean, uh, of uh, economic assistance for North Korea, okay, to help it to get integrated with the, uh, with the international economic uh, order uh, and, and to to encourage it to, to conduct reforms and, and then uh, in a way to have a better life. Uh, so uh, by adopting an enhanced uh, current stick approach, uh, we, we try to uh, change the incentive structure uh, on the part of North Korea uh, uh, so that we'll find it more attractive to adopt, to abandon uh, the nuclear weapons uh, uh, in favor of a, uh, a, a, a some kind of a deal uh, with the international community uh, uh, to to uh, have a secure uh, uh, and also more prosperous uh, future uh, laying ahead. Uh, uh, I, I hope that they, they will see the light and and, and take the option. Uh, let me stop here. Thank you.